question, Neil, because a lot of us wait until that dramatic moment when we're sat down by the doctor to say, you know, you're, you're six months away from a debilitating disease. That's when we make the changes. But the, the telltale signs, the red flags were months, if not years before. Uh, and it's, it's, very, it's very personal. So I, there isn't a one size fits all. My, my sign for when I need to start reflecting may be very distinct from yours. So for everybody, the first step is to become very aware of our own self. For me, when I notice I um, want to lower my vibrations, so I might look for an alcoholic beverage, or I may look for processed food, or I may find other forms of distraction, getting myself away from me, like binge watching something on Netflix or something, something I call lower vibration because I'm not connecting to my inner purpose or self that usually is a sign for me that whatever I'm doing, I need to look at. It may not be bad. I might, I might just be challenging myself to step out of my comfort zone, which is a good thing, but there's something going on where I'm disconnecting. And then that sign of disconnection is my usual first red flag, that what I'm doing is either pushing me away from my purpose or pushing me too fast as well, which can also create similar things. But again, it's, it's about getting aware to ourselves. You may find that you, you overly clean your house or something that, that you, you use repeatedly to make sure that we're not dealing with how we're feeling. And sometimes it's easy to take it on ourselves. So for me, what I also do is I acknowledge it through my journal. And if it's still present three times, so I have a very simple three strike rule. If I, if I, see it once I may let it go if I see it a second time I need to, to get it out somehow usually in writing or with a confidant a close friend if it's there three times that's when I need to take when I say massive action I'm not talking about changing the world and moving house and quitting your job but I need to take something of significant action because this is bigger than I first thought so it's about real deep reflection, awareness of, is this just today pattern or can I see this having repeated further in my life? Because nine times out of 10, uh, I'll give you an example. I'm a Reiki master, so I'm part of a Reiki master community of support to make sure that we all, we're all there for each other. I, I, I shared a link in that group to, to, for all of us to meet on the webinar. And the leader of the group, my Reiki master teacher said, can you please remove the link? Now, I was quite triggered by that and took offense. And so upon reflection, because it was there present for days and days, and it's a very similar, stupid example, small example, but I saw this had been repeated three years ago in another consulting job. And this had been repeated five years ago in another career. And this had been repeated 15 years ago. I was using the same words that I was being picked out, it was on me. How dare you pick on me? Other people do this, but why me? And once I saw this pattern, I knew it was my manifestation. And so I could get to the root cause of that issue, which was actually something that happened a long time ago, rather than just plastering the moment with my master and going, yep, everything's fine, I won't do it again. Knowing that in the future it might have manifested elsewhere. So for anybody who sees these red flags, see if there's a common pattern because our reactions are actually valid, but they're also signs to say that we may need to deal with something from our past or also potentially a fear of the future as well. But we want...